I'll hit one. This comes from Mac Daddy. Mac Daddy asks, Hey, so my boyfriend really wants me to be a cat person, and I feel like that is a lot of pressure to put on one person. I have been doing a lot of research and a lot of looking for the right solution, but I think I need your guys' help. I've been watching a lot of Harry Potter, and mm-hmm. I think the appropriate answer is a polyjuice potion. Do you guys have the recipe? Yeah. You're, you're super in luck that we happen to have the recipe for a polyjuice potion. Yeah, there are layers here to this question. Do you want to just jump right into the recipe? So this is very important when you're getting into the mix of this. you got to understand this, and you're going to love that I just actually <coughs> know this. you got to understand You know the can... actual polyjuice potion yeah. recipe? Yep. No way. Yep. It's All right. It's very complicated. So well, stick my plan with is me. spoiled. Yeah, I'm ready. Stick with me. This is a legitimate. This is a legitimate polyjuice potion. Am I gonna have to put the Jeopardy theme song in the background? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Zane. Welcome to my DIY polyjuice tutorial. Today we're making something that makes you look like a cat person. So great! All right, let's get started. Uh, smash that like button. It's a very complicated potion, and it's gonna take a lacewing fly. Which doesn't sound real, and I promise it is. You know what shoelaces look like? It's like a fly that has those for wings. Leeches are the second thing, because, you know, anything that can suck out whatever disease is going to be very important. You know, that's just mm-hmm. how that works. It's a medicinal thing. So you're of... sucking out the disease in order to get the cat person yeah. qualities? Okay. Yeah, because people, like, leeches are to be convinced that good things are a disease, and therefore they have to suck the good things out of your mind in order to let bad things be considered a good thing within your being. Okay. Flux weed. Which flux sounds weed. a lot like flux seed, but it's it's exactly what it sounds like in the it's terms It's like a baking of, it's powder, like, baking soda sort of thing. It's whole it's grain. Similar, don't get it mixed it's up. It's whole grain yeah. kush. Okay. Whole grain kush. So you're going to uh, need to is get... It, is it good if I just write down whole grain kush? Is that what I'll find it under? Whole grain kush, yeah. Hold you on, can I'm find it at any that. whole food. Whole grain kush. Cool. Yeah, keep going. Perfect. All right. Not grass. Which I know that does sound like I just said, <laughs> like, all right, all these things. Do not put grass not in. Grass. Don't put grass in there. No, it's literally grass in a knot. Wait, now hold on. I found something. I found spicy Kush salad. <laughs> 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 spicy See, Kush salad. Will. This simple and delicious salad features the whole grain Kush, aka <laughs> Bulgar, or cracked wheat. Hold on, cracked wheat is called Kush. My life has changed. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Good whole grain kush. Google. Good whole grain kush. Good, good whole grain kush. Healthy grains you should try beyond quinoa. Sorry, keep going. The next thing you're going to need is a powdered horn of a bicorn. And I know what you're thinking. Zane, is that a deer? (laughs) No. Oh, wow. It is a huge... It's like a... Okay, it's like a double barrel versus like... Uh, like like a uh, over under sort of shotgun, right? Sure, sure enough. If it looks like if it looks like the double barrel shotgun with them left and right, it's a it's a deer. Yeah. And if it looks like the under over shotgun, yeah. this is weird. I'm not even a gun person. Um, like then a rhino. it's a bicorn. Yeah. I'll like re- a, you know, that's a better analogy. I like that one. Like bicorn. A, yeah. Except both of the horns are straight and on top of the head. No nose horn. If it's got a nose horn, you're making the wrong poche. Okay. <laughs> Okay, keep going. Right. Now, this is going to sound a little gross, but this is actually how this goes down. The The final things that you're going to need is the shredded skin of a boom slang, as well as whoever you're intending to turn into. So, you're going to need... Um, you're going to need the shredded skin of a boom slang, which is really simple. It's just a boomerang that's really up to date with the 2019 trends. Mm. And... A bit of whoever you're intending to turn into. Now, you didn't say, like, you want a light cat, so it's not a bit of a cat. You said you want to become a cat person. So you're going to need a little bit of a cat yeah. person. In no, there. yeah, we're entering furry territory here, for sure. There's a girl in Always Sunny in Philadelphia that literally starts to have the surgery to turn into a cat. She purrs, she gets the whiskers, she gets the tail, she gets everything. That's kind of what you're wanting at this point. You want a bit of a literal cat person. Not someone that Minus likes cats, the a little bit of a cat person. Like how Batman is half bat. You yeah. want someone that's half cat. So, I mean, obviously we helped uh, Mac here with by giving the full ingredient list for the potion. But really quick, I might have a question um, in that 
my boyfriend really wants me to be a cat person. I feel like that's a lot of pressure to put on one person. Now, is there any chance in any world, possibly, that they could actually be talking about the idea of cat person versus dog person? No. It, it's a stretch. Oh, yeah, me neither. Okay, cool. Let's move <laughs> on. Uh, you got any questions? 